Movies are dreams. The Fablemans is neither fable nor fiction, but the story of a young Steven Spielberg pulled between parents who are polar opposites. What kind of movie are we gonna make? I'm a very private person. I would never ordinarily take anything like this public. But after my mom passed, um, and I really got to thinking about the sum total of our relationship, which was a great relationship, but it was also challenging. His father, practical. That's more important than your hobby. Dad, can you stop calling it a hobby? Yeah, he, he did, Dad was greatest generation. He wanted for me to have a bedrock life and he felt that being a movie director was a pipe dream. It was going to be like quicksand. We're going to use Daddy's camera to film it. His mother, an artist. Whereas my mom said, go for it. <laughs> Just go for it, Steve. Let's not tell your father. It'll be our secret movie, just yours and mine. Michelle Williams plays Spielberg's mother okay. in a performance that is probably perfect. It was so powerful, and uh. you are this person who actually lives the life she wants to live yeah. to a yes. great degree yeah, in the movie. Thank you. That's the most beautiful thing I could possibly hear. It's really how we all, if we're brave enough, want to live. The heart, though, is not a compass. Where it leads is often not ideal or perfect. I knew things that nobody else in my family knew about my mom and about my dad's best friend. <laughs> Seth Rogen plays the friend. You think whatever bad things you want about me, kiddo, but you stop making movies, it'll break your mother's heart. Into all of which appears a man almost apparition-like, a great uncle, played by Judd Hirsch. You see, what she got in her heart is what you got, what I got. Art. Like me, like you, I think. We're junkies, and art is our drug. Gabriel LaBelle nails the teenage filmmaker. And as for working with Spielberg? It's thrilling, it's intimidating, it's uh, nerve-wracking, and you know that it's going to be incredibly significant. Paul Dano adds the father role to an already impressive resume. I want you to make a camping trip movie. And I thought that the father was such a quietly complicated character because he had to keep so much of his own experience to himself, I think for his family's behalf, but also because maybe he didn't quite know how. Right, right. To, there was so much it. yearning in him yes. to connect with his son. I don't know what to do anymore. What was it like to be filming in the memories of your own childhood? It was hard because the more I shot in the house, the more I remembered how much I loved living there. I loved Arizona, I loved living in the desert. I loved having my family around me. And so I mourned the loss of my childhood as I was recreating aspects of my childhood. Wow. Williams immersed herself in Spielberg family memories. These beautiful family archives, the photos, the home movies, the tape recordings, her laugh, her sound, her clothes, her smell, her perfume. You know, one of the things I loved about working with Michelle is after a take, and she could tell I was really happy with the take, she didn't accept happiness as a reason to stop here. And she'd always walk over to me and she'd get very close to me and she'd just sort of take my wrist in her hand. She said, anything else? Anything, anything else? Anything, anything else. You know that thing they say about an actor embodying a character? That's Williams in The Fablemans. I cried so hard that they thought something was wrong with me on the night that we wrapped. And I just, it was very hard to say goodbye. Arizona will never leave me. Thank you. Right? Whoa. You crushed me. Whoa. You totally crushed me. You guys. Oh, my <laughs> Thank God. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow. Now we have to see the film. I know. I hope so. Yeah. We have to see did, could you go into these things? You would go into the screening room and sit down, and all of a sudden I just, I went all the way over. Uh, uh. And so much of it is just about this idea of pursuing your passion, mm. letting your heart be your guide, mm. and can be, that can that journey can be fraught, mm. right? Oh, oh, it's so profound. It's deep. A lot yeah. of courage for him to tell that story. Yeah. Well, he'd said it wasn't until, because there was a documentary done, and mm. there was some of those aspects in the documentary. And he said it wasn't until his mother passed. It was like, I can, no, I, I can tell the story. He gets now. to tell the story. Right. And now. the thing is, 
We thought we knew this guy. Sure. Yeah. Now yeah. you will know him yeah. for sure. Harry, thank, Harry, you. thank you. Wow. We Beautiful. should mention The Fablemans <laughs> is in theaters nationwide today. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.